This is the D-Link router that we took apart. Uh, we weren't really sure how to take it apart, so we pretty much just ripped the outside. This We basically ripped this off first, and then I'll show you. Inside, the, there were two beams right here with screws in them, and we didn't know that there were screws in them because they were covered. So we basically just cut them out, and then from there it allowed us to take the top off. On the front side, it has this little cover, which is to push the light out, and then the LEDs would light up these little displays to tell you whether you're on, whether you have internet access, and etc. This is the Wi-Fi card, which comes out of the slot. It's really tight. <laughs> and then it's attached to the two antennas, which just unscrewed. That's how the card comes out. And then pretty much from there the board was screwed down and it comes out. It has about 23 parts total and as we were taking it apart we actually uh, cut this one out. On the board there are five ports for your ethernet, one USB, a power, and then this is an on-off button. Over here it's got another button, which is this, and it's like a refresh to cycle it. While there are not many parts to the D-Link teardown, it was hard to figure out how to proceed with taking it apart. What follows are the photos that Brief took for us as we tore it apart.